again to try to determine what happened. Okay, we see Grant Adcox trying to move to the outside, and here comes a car down on the inside, but a car had already spun up in front, and Adcox said when he made that move to the high side, tried to get down low, but he ran into a mess. It's difficult to tell who exactly started the crash, but you can see that some cars made hard contact with each other and with the wall. And they haven't stopped yet. They came off the track and lose control once they hit that grass and sliding into each other. Here's Grant Adcox walking away. Apparently he is okay. So Grant Adcox, who had won the past five out of six races on this track, will not win today. You see, you see Grant Adcox, he wanted to walk down to the Winston Cup garage area where his, his crew is and what have you, but the ambulance man person there is telling him, you've got to go to the hospital. When these people, when these drivers make contact, hard contact with the wall here at Talladega, NASCAR insists that they go through this hospital. There's the Grant Adcox crew. They look up toward the turn four area, but their driver is out walking around and okay. We hope we can say that for all the other drivers involved in this multi-car tangle in turn number four. We'll be back to Talladega after these messages. 117 laps completed. Ben Hess the leader. Rich Bickle running second. Carl Miscotten third running in third position. Then Tracy Leslie and Chris Gerke. Now we are about to go green from a massive crash up in turn number four. And here is a look at it once again. Just ahead of this group of cars, car number 80, Jimmy Horton blew a tire, turned sideways, and then everybody started coming in. This is Horton up on the high side of the racetrack, and to begin blocking the track, everybody coming in behind, nowhere to go. They started sliding, spinning, hitting each other. Fifteen cars total were involved in this accident. 